Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my system settings that I use for Microsoft Flight Simulator now with my new computer. For this we're going to explore the NVIDIA control panel as you can see on the screen now and also the in-sim settings. If you want to know my spec head to the website britishavgeek.com you'll find it there it includes the GE Force RTX 4090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. It is a big beast of a system paired with an AMD Ryzen 9 7900X and 64 gig of DDR5 RAM clocked at 5200 MHz. So it's really really quite powerful. I know some of you are looking at upgrading to a similar style and spec of system. So to help you out and the things that I've learned with the new rig this is what this video is all about. So I hope you find it useful as always hit like and subscribe and share your own tweaks in the comments below too. So head to your NVIDIA control panel and you want to go to manage 3D settings. As you can see at the moment my global settings here are as shown. Everything is default. If we then head into the program settings we're looking for Microsoft Flight Simulator within the select program to customize menu and then we're going to begin to scroll down again and again I've restored them to default looking down pretty much using global settings all the way through this with the exception of one max frame rate I've set that to 62 frames per second as a maximum to prevent the sim chasing as many frames as possible with the system that I've now got I'm able to run the sim at 4k 60 frames per second with scenery like in it builds JFK which is quite remarkable continuing on from the Nvidia graphics settings inside the internal control panel we head back into Microsoft Flight Simulator from there we're going to go into general options and within here uh, this is going to be my setup going forwards with the RTX 4090 providing there aren't any more further optimizations with the sim where we can then increase uh, things here and there even more but I envisage this being the case now for at least 6 to 12 months uh, at the very least now being fairly stable settings so as you can see with the 4k screen full screen resolution is set 3840-2160 anti-aliasing is still set to TAA I haven't really bothered with DLSS even DLSS 3 because I find it is a little bit weak still and not that useful um, blurs the screens and that sort of thing still and with the graphics card as powerful as the 4090 TAA is um, just really really nice don't need the LSS render scaling is set to 4k it's how I'm outputting the sim onto my screen and we have DirectX 12 enabled with Nvidia DLSS frame generation switched on Fidelity FX sharpening set to 100 vSync switched off and then into the advanced settings, terrain LODs at 200 everything else on ultra until objects level of detail which is set to its maximum limit of 200 volumetric clouds and texture resolution set to ultra an isotropic filtering 16 times texture super sampling 8x8 and texture synthesis ultra water waves is that the highest as well, high shadow maps, terrain shadows they're set to their maximum too. Continuing to scroll down we've got contact shadows, windshield effects and ambient occlusion set to ultra, cube map reflections set to their highest level of 256, ray marched reflections ultra with light shafts matching that too, bloom switched on, depth of field with ultra, motion blur off, lens correction off, lens flare switched on and the glass cockpit refresh rate set to medium and that's because um, certain airliners have got a slower refresh rate of some of their cockpit screens, their displays uh, and actually medium is quite a nice fairly realistic looking setting and that's it they are my latest settings that I've got selected when running the sim with the Nvidia RTX 4090 I hope you found it useful certainly if you're getting a PC with a similar spec then 100% give these settings a go Share your thoughts in the comments below. Any tips, tricks and uh, thoughts and suggestions yourselves are always welcome down there. Hit like and subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Take care.
Thanks for watching.